Look at one right here. Always be my maybe. Always be my maybe. Stars Randall Park and Ali Wong. And also Keanu Reeves. Oddly enough. <laughs> uh, so, I just watched this a couple days ago. And at first I avoided it because I figured it was just going to be like every other romantic comedy. Uh, not really. I mean, I've never been a fan of romantic romantic comedies to begin with. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe there's a couple out there that I kind of don't mind sitting through. <laughs> uh, this one, it's it's kind of different, but it still pretty much follows the same formula as as your typical romantic comedy. You know, I mean, yeah, you know. Obviously, the details are different, uh, but really not that different. It's, you know, pretty much it's just about these two people who are, you know, they've been childhood friends, uh, and, well, they, they started out as childhood friends, and eventually um, they became more intimate as they got older, and... Then for whatever reason, they just, you know, eventually they grew apart, and so, uh, I mean, it was kind of interesting to see their relationship, how it unfolds and takes shape uh, throughout their lives, and I guess also, too, I, I mostly like that part because uh, it starts off in the 90s when they're kids, and there's even a couple nods to certain certain nostalgic things from the 90s and uh, at least for me they were I mean because I'm a 90s kid I grew up in the 90s I wasn't born in the 90s I was born in the 80s raised in the 90s so uh, uh, and I mean yeah the performances are, are pretty good I wouldn't say they're mind-blowing uh, actually if anything I gotta say, I, I really wasn't expecting Keanu Reeves to be in this, and <laughs> but, but uh, in, in a way, I'm kind of glad that he is because his performance just you know, I mean, he plays himself, but I think he's also he's also supposed to play uh, play like a more douchey version of himself, douchebag version of himself. <laughs> and, uh, and in fact, you know, pretty much, yeah, he just came off as this like douchebag, but at the same time, not like a typical douchebag. Like, uh, that's really the only way I could describe it, other than hilarious. <laughs> uh, I mean, because, yeah, it was like, for me, normally when I see a douchebag character in a movie, or in real life, it's, you know, it's just like, I can't stand, stand even just being around them, just seeing them. <laughs> but Keanu Reeves, he, he played this douchebag ver version of himself in such a way that still came off as uh, actually pretty cool and pretty interesting. <laughs> like, you know, so yeah, it's... You know, uh, for me, the highlight of this is Keanu Reeves playing himself, playing this douchebag version of himself. <laughs> That's it. That's the big highlight for me. Uh, like I said, everything else is okay. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not a terrible movie. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, definitely if, if Keanu Reeves wasn't in this, weren't, you know, I really, I wouldn't have bothered watching the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just how I feel. So, you know, and in fact, after seeing this, it made me think, uh, has Keanu Reeves ever given a bad performance? Like, 
I mean, it's like he's he's that <laughs> he's like so talented that really naturally talented that like he can't give a bad performance or <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if, you know if you happen to know you know if you're watching this and you happen to know know of any bad Keanu Reeves performance. Definitely let me know. Because I'm trying to, I've been, I've been racking my brain trying to think of something. <laughs> and I can't. So, at least not at the moment. So, yeah. As far as an overall rating goes, I'm going to give it, uh, you know what, I'm going to give it seven and a half at the bare minimum. But, like I said, <laughs> And I don't want to sound like a broken record, but because Keanu Reeves is in this, because he gives such an awesome performance in this hilarious performance, <laughs> I got I gotta bump it up to eight. So yeah, eight out of ten. That's it. That'll do it for this review. I got nothing else to say about it. <laughs> and, uh, if you're a Keanu Reeves fan, I do recommend watching this. If you're a fan of romantic comedies in general, you'll probably like this. So, yeah, that's it. Again, thanks for watching. As always, next time, don't forget, keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.